afternoon, boys and girls. Uh, we are again here. Today we are going to look at lesson 11. But before you look at lesson 11, let's look at this number which was in our activity of lesson 10. The question was, find the area of the shaded part, just one of them. But I only picked this. Is enough for for this work. So the question is find the area of the shaded part. Here is the figure. We have a triangle outside and a circle inside. So how do we get the area? What did we say? To get the area of the shaded part, get the area of the outer figure which is a triangle minus the area of the inner figure which is a circle. The answer you will get will be the area of the shaded part. So we shall begin by getting area of the triangle. Area of the triangle equals a half times base times height. Area equals a half times the base of the triangle, which is 18 centimeters, times the height. The height should begin from here up to here, which is this. They will put it for us at the side, which is 20 centimeters by 2 ones by 2 nine. So here we shall have 1 times 9 centimeters times 20 centimeters. So the area of our triangle is 180 square centimeters. From there we shall go to the area of the circle, which is the outer figure. Area of the circle. Area of the circle equals is a full circle. So we shall have pi r squared and the pi given in the question is 22 out of 7 times the radius of 7 centimeters times 7 centimeters by 7 once by 7 once. So here we shall have 22 times 7 centimeters times 1 centimeter. Yeah. Ah. Let's come to this. We have 22 times 7 centimeters. We shall have 154, square, uh, 154 centimeters times 1 centimeter. That is 154 square centimeters. So the area of the circle is 154 square centimeters. So how do you get the area of the shaded part? The area of the shaded part equals the area of the triangle minus the area of a circle. So area Shaded of the uh, area of the shaded part equals 180 square centimeters minus 154 square centimeters. 180 minus 154. Remain here with 7, put here 1 to make 10. 10 minus 4 shall have 6. 7 minus 5 shall have 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So the area of our shaded part is 26 square centimeters. This, that is our area of the shaded part. Now, today we are going to look at something else. 
and that is more and that is more about area of shaded parts Example one, but before you go to example one, I want you to note this.
So here we are. Our next lesson is talking about uh, one to uh, our next sub our next subheading is more about area of shaded parts. There is a point to note here. We have a diagram here. We have a small circle inside, and we have another one outside. And then this part is shaded. Here they are emphasizing that the, the radius of the small circle is is represented by a small letter and the radius of the big semicircle is represented by a capital letter this is what i'm talking about the radius of the outer circle is represented by capital r i think you can see so to find the area of the outer circle we use pi r capital r squared the radius of the inner circle is represented by small r so its area is pi r squared with a small r here we have our example one find the area of the uh, find the area of find the area find the area of find find the area of the shaded Find the area of the shaded part in, in the figure below. Find the area of the shaded part in the figure below. Use the pi of 22 out of 7. Here is our figure. How do we find the area of the shaded part? We shall do like we have been doing. The area of the inner figure, my, uh, and then you find the area of the inner figure, find the area of the outer figure. Then after that, you get the area of the outer figure minus the area of the inner figure. The answer you get will be the area of the shaded part. Quickly, we shall say area equal uh, area of the uh, area of the outer area of the outer circle. So we say the area of the outer circle equals pi r squared. We shall continue with the pi given of 22 out of 7. So we shall say 22 out of 7 times the radius of 14 centimeters times 14 centimeters. By 7 once, by 7 here, we shall have 2. So uh, if we multiply, uh, we shall come and say 22 times 14 centimeters times 2 centimeters so let's multiply 22 times 14 this is 8 8 2 2 this is uh, 8 this is 10 right 0 carry 1 3 okay then 308 times 2 what do you get 16 carry 1 this is 1 this time this is 6 okay so the area of the outer circle equals 616 square centimeters okay from there we shall come down and find the area of the inner inner circle area of the inner circle equals pi r squared with a pi given of 22 out of 7 times the radius of the inner circle which is 7 centimeters times 7 centimeters okay by 7 once by 7 once so we shall have 22 times 7 centimeters times 1 centimeter mm -hmm. So when you multiply, the area of the inner circle is 154 square centimeters. Let's come down and find the area of the shaded part. Area of the shaded part equals the area of the 
outer figure minus the area of the inner figure. So that is 616 square centimeters minus 154 square centimeters. When you subtract, what, what are you getting? We have 616 minus 154. 6 minus 4, we get 2. That is 10. I mean, 11. We shall have 6. Men there with 5. This is uh, 4. So the area of the shaded part is 462 square centimeters. So this is the area of our shaded part. Okay? Here's our example of two. Find the area of the shaded find calculate the area of the shaded part in the figure below. Use the pi equals 22 out of 7. Here is the figure. We have a circle inside. We have another figure outside which is a square. There is something that you should understand here. Someone may say that I've not given us the diameter or the radius of this circle. Use common sense and know that from here up to here is 14. What about in the middle here from here up to here? It will still be 14 centimeters. Okay? Likewise to this. If this is 14, this will be 14. If from here up to here is 14, what about in the middle here? It will also be 14. And in the middle of this, we call that to be our diameter. So we say A, we shall begin by finding area of, of a square. Area of a square. We say area of a square equals side times side. Very simple. The square is having 14 centimeters times 14 centimeters. 14 times 14, what do we get? We have 14 times 14. 4 times 4, 16. Write 6 and cut 1. 4 times 1 is 1. Plus 1 is 5. 1 times 4, 4. 1 times 1 is this. Okay? Then you multiply. 
What do you get here? 6, 9, 1. So 14 times 14 is 196 square centimeters. Okay? Then, we shall go ahead and find the area of a circle which is inside. So area equals pi r squared. Okay? Um, area equals 22 out of 7 times the radius of this circle. From, from here up to here is 14. What about the middle here? This length here is the same as this one. So if this one is 14, that one will also be 14. And if it comes to a circle, we shall call it diameter. So we shall get the diameter of 14. To get the radius, you divide the diameter by 2 times 14, which is diameter divided by 2 to get radius. By 7 once, by 7 we shall have 2. Okay? By 2 once, by 2, 11. By 2 once, by 2, 7. So this is 11 times 2 centimeters times 7 centimeters. So 11 times 2 is 22. And in 22 times 7, we shall have uh, 154 square centimeters. Now, to get the area of the shaded part, area of the shaded part, we shall get the area of the outer figure which is a square and that is 196 square centimeters minus the area of the inner figure which is a circle and that is 154 square centimeters now let's subtract 196 times 154 6 minus 4 is 2 9 minus 5 we shall have 4 then that is zero. So the area of the shaded part is 42 square centimeters. So those two examples are enough. I want us to use this knowledge and answer some work in our activity.
want you to try this work. Find the area of the shaded part in each of the figures below. Here, this one is okay. Come to this. The knife. Here we have a semicircle. We have a rectangle. Look at the semicircle. From here up to here is a length. But if you come up from here up to here, it's also a length. But at the same time, it is the diameter of the semicircle. Okay? What about the width of this rectangle? What about the width? From here up to here is radius. Okay? So from here up to here is diameter. From here up to here is diameter. But from here up to here is radius. So from, if from here up to here is 14, then the half of it is 7. Okay? If this is 7, what about this? If this is radius, even that is radius. So, if this is 7, this is also 7. And if this is 7, this one here will be 7 centimeters. Common sense. Okay? So, you are going to use 7 as your width. But you should know where the 7 is coming from. Okay? When you come to this, we have a circle inside, we have a rectangle outside. The rectangle has the length of 30 centimeters. It has the width of 28. But look at this width. But a circle that have given you nothing. But look at the width. If the width is 28, even the diameter of the circle will be 28. Okay? So, use those ideas and find the area of these shaded parts. Otherwise, thank you for listening. May God bless you.